Good afternoon to you. I'm Brian Sanders. We do have some breaking news here in the three o'clock hour. Okmulgee High School was placed on lockdown Tuesday morning after authorities said an eighth grader made threats to shoot up the school. Officials said a 14 year old made the threats during first period class. Two other students reported it to administrators. The accused student was interviewed by police and they searched his home, although no weapons were found. The student remains in custody. Three people are in custody after leading Tulsa police on a chase that ended in a crash in Broken Arrow. Officers were chasing the suspect's car after finding out it was stolen. We're told speeds during the chase reached 85 miles an hour. Two males and a female were arrested when the truck crashed. No one was hurt. And Governor Mary Fallon delivered her final state of the state address in Tulsa today. She spoke to business and civic leaders at the luncheon at the Cox Business Center downtown. She spoke about the current economic climate, education funding, job creation and infrastructure. She will end her term as Oklahoma's governor in January. And we see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies has moved on into the afternoon hours with more sunshine around today compared to yesterday. Temperatures a few degrees warmer. You notice a live look at our air comfort solutions camera out at Tulsa International Airport. And again, plenty of sunshine there at the airport. Another look from our Renaissance Hotel Camp 71st and 169. Plenty of sunshine over the Tulsa area with temperatures. They've warmed into the mid 80s this afternoon. The humidity level at 57 percent and the dew point at 67. That number is a little bit higher than this time yesterday, which means a little bit more moisture in the air and the humidity levels will continue to rise over the next two or three days. We currently have north winds at nine miles per hour, still trying to bring in some of that slightly cooler air and another great night is ahead. We're at 79 in prior for one of the cooler spots, 79 also over northwest Arkansas. Most other areas in the low to mid 80s as warm as 86 degrees out in Stillwater. So another great night ahead with Temperatures dropping into the 60s, but we will see increasing chances for rain over the next couple of days and the summer heat returns just in time for the weekend.